Welcome back everybody, time for game number two. So, we're up against Karma Thresh Rekindler. This is pretty all right, although it kind of... Ah, uh, they don't have that many ways to deal with this. Plays a bit into grass, but so does any unit, sort of. That's a bit of an awkward draw. That certainly helps, although it's not great because they play Valfeast, so it's probably just gonna die. Nope, no Valfeast. That's pretty good. Um, think I want to play Shadow Assassin here in case the opponent has a grasp, so they like grasp Shadow Assassin more likely than this. Or if they have that, that's also better, I guess. Than like losing our Z. Although that is not very good against Scorch. At least it means he can't really attack because we have a free block. Hmm. I guess that means we just play Assassin, and this doesn't really do anything. Bond is pretty great here. Another spot and matchup where Bond is really nice. There's not much he can do here. And that lets us try and raise this Scourge a lot better. At 4 mana, there's not really much he can do. I think he has Will, so can bounce one, but that's okay. That's pretty decent. I don't know the list like exactly like this version, because it's different from the first Karma control list that Astrogation played. So I'm not sure if uh, the common list plays the box and how many the box it plays. That's very awkward for us. Hmm. I guess we do this to work our way through this. Very unfortunate. This might be an uphill battle, this matchup. At least we can attack with Z now. Maybe I shouldn't have played Pet actually, so I could have played Z with Deny backup. Kind of might like this better though. I think I do. Lines up pretty decently with the board. And making a big kinku sounds like a good plan. And it attacks fairly well on this board still. Like, that's the best opening against us, Scorch Desmark. Okay. This is pretty close to leveling though. It's very awkward. We might try to like veil this to level this and we will have to stop that. Yeah, I think I'll play this here. 
it's not too much he can do and we still have deny open which we need to have open here there's the veil that I called and I counter that and counter back which is good I mean he can still buy something, but there's not a lot he can do. Yep, he passes. Mm. Can ruination here. think we'll play Shadow Assassin here. Like Ruination would obviously be awkward, but I think we gotta do a bit more here. And we have like a lot of free fill post ruination. Do this. Try and get the elusive pressure going. Let's be greedy. Don't think he has ruination. And this lets us skin get in for a lot of damage. Wolf. Plus the bonds. Sixteen. We'll just split it on these, because putting it on this is kind of a waste. I think I'm fine with these. Because that means another two damage. Potentially. But yeah, things are not looking too great. Like, we basically just have to hope that he doesn't have a whole lot, which is unlikely. That's pretty good. All in all. Yep. At least we got a bunch of damage in, I guess. Another karma. As we play some Kingus, hope for the best. And we can still cheese him out with like hatchling or something, maybe. Or not, because he drew like Shadow Assassin 2 and 3, which is obviously very good in this matchup to draw. We even drew the Hatchling. If only it would have mattered. Yeah, the opponent had a bit too much going well for him. Three Shadow Assassins and turn three Scourge Deathmark. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, that's like a lot of cloning. I think we're done here. This is a waste of time. All right, one and one. This matchup is a rougher one anyways, but uh, I think I've done fine against it since if they don't have like their uh, Scorch death mark early on, think, or you can stop it, which you usually can't that, that early, um, then they're going to have a hard time being raised because they don't have an avalanche, so they don't really have a good way to deal with your units. They also don't have like good cheap removal. Their removal is stuff like Veil and Grasp, so they only like cheap removal is Vile Feast, which only kills one drops and duo. So yeah, um, all kind of depends on draws on both sides and how things line up, but um, they are under much more pressure to have very specific things, I feel like, uh, in order to not be run over. And that's, once again, one of the matchups where having more than one deny is very important. All right, that's it for game number two. I'll see you in a moment with game number three.